大家好，我是 Eddie， 欢迎来到 Chinese Eddie G。Hi guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, we're going to study a grammar point from HSK Level Three textbook, Lesson Ten. Let's get started. 我们开始吧。Today's grammar point is a comparative sentence structure, which is a, b, b, plus adjective plus 一点 or 一些 or 得多 or 多了 By the way, it's not necessary to say 一点 You can omit r sound. You can say 一点一点 means a little. This sentence means A is a little more adjective than B, or A is much more adjective than B. Basically, they're comparing A and B. The only difference is the degree. If you say 一点 or 一些 if you you can look at the sentence structure, 一点 or 一些 means a little. So that means A is a little more. Um, adjective than B. However, if you say 得多 or 多了 that means much more adjective than A is much more adjective than B. To make it more clear, I suggest we take a look at the th at the four example sentences. Sentence number one: 大山比大卫矮一点。大山比大卫。矮一点，大山 is a little shorter than 大卫。Let's break down the sentence. 大山 is a boy's name. 大 means big. 山 literally is mountain. 大山比 that's a key word of today's grammar structure. But literally, 比 means to compare. 大卫 Is a boy's name again, and it sounds like David or Dave. And in Chinese, we directly translate David or Dave to 大卫 I means short. 一点 means a little. So 矮一点 means a little shorter. The alternative way to say the sentence, you can replace 一点 with 一些 Do you remember at the beginning of the lesson we say there are two ways to express a little, 一点 and 一些 So let me read the sentence in an alternative way for you. 大山比大卫矮一些大山比大卫矮一些 It also means 大山 is a little shorter than 大卫 By the way, actually, 一些 literally means a few or some. Just in case you want to know the literal translation of 一些 but in this sentence structure, it it, it equals 一点 which means a little. I will give you an example of how to use 一些 as a few or some. For example, I have a few books. 我有一些书我有一些书 Another example, I have some paper. 我有一些纸我有一些纸 Moving on to the second sentence, 第二句我今天起得比昨天晚一些我今天起得比昨天晚一些 Today. I got up later, a little later than yesterday. 我今天起得比昨天晚一些 So here you can replace 一些 with 一点 and then I'll read it as 我今天起得比昨天晚一点 It also makes perfect sense. Now let's break down the sentence. 我 means I. 今天 Today, 起 means to get up, get up from the bed. 得 um is just a signal word for a coming adverb or a descriptive expression because this person want to say, 
um, get up late, right? Because you can see late this character uh, in the sentence in the latter part. Um, so get up late would be qi de wan. If I highlight this, these three characters, I would say qi de wan means to get up late. So de uh, really doesn't mean anything. It's just a signal word uh, to combine a verb and an adverb together or combine a verb and um, a descriptive um, expression together. Okay. B means to compare, and it is also the key word of today's sentence structure. 昨天 means yesterday. 晚 means late. 一些, a little. Sentence 3, 第三句. 今天的作业比昨天多得多. Today's homework is much more than yesterday's. 今天的作业 比昨天多得多. And we can replace the last two words, 得多, with 多了. And I would read the sentence as, 今天的作业比昨天多多了. 比昨天多多了. You see, the two sentences would be exactly the same. It's just different um, ways to express the same meaning. And they both mean today's homework is so much more than yesterday's. Let's break down the sentence. 今天 means today. 今天的 means today's. Um, so today's homework would be 今天的作业. 作业, homework. 比, to compare. And that's today's um, keyword in the structure. 昨天 Yesterday, 多 means a lot or many or much. 得多 means much or a lot. So 多得多, the three characters together means a lot more or much more. Sentence 4, 第四句, 数学比历史难多了. Math is much more difficult than history. 数学比历史难多了. Let's break down the sentence. 数学, math, be to compare, and it's also the keyword of today's sentence structure. 历史, history, 难, difficult, hard, tough. 多了, together, these two words means a lot or much. So, 难多了 means a lot harder, a lot, a lot more difficult, or much harder, or much more difficult. Again, we could replace 多了, the last two characters, with 得多. You see, 得多 equals 多了, and then I'll read the whole sentence as 数学比历史难得多 数学比历史难得多 which means the exact same thing. Now let's move on to the next comparative structure. So what if you want to say A is less adjective than B? And then we have the negative form, right? And the form is A plus 没有 plus B. And then you plus adjective. Or you can see in the brackets there are two phrases. One is 这么, 这么, the other one is 那么. So no matter 这么 or 那么, they both mean so. For example, if you want to say so big, you can say 这么大, or you can say 那么大. No matter it's 这么大 or 那么大, it's both, it both sound, sounds like uh, you're very surprised something is so big. Sometimes it is a little um, difficult to decide which you can use. I mean, whether you use 这么 or 那么 is a little difficult uh, for a beginner um, because you need a context. It depends, all right? Um, but the safe way to say the sentence structure is just omit 这么 or 那么. 
I mean, after all these two phrases, you can see they're in the brackets, which means you, you, uh, it's not necessary for you to say it. Okay. Now let's move on to the example sentences. Sentence number five. 第五句，咖啡没有茶好喝。Coffee is less tasty than tea. 咖啡没有茶好喝。咖啡 coffee 没有 is less than 茶 means tea. 好喝 means tasty or delicious. 好喝。Uh, literally, 喝 means to drink, but 好喝 is an adjective. Good drink means tasty, delicious. Okay, so 没有 in this sentence means is less than. It means comparative. But、um, you guys might notice that 没有 also could mean、uh, don't have or doesn't have. That's the literal translation.、Um, you know, it means don't have in a normal context. But here in the comparative structure, it means is less than. Coffee is less tasty than tea, so please be careful with the scent with the word order.、Uh, literally, the translation is coffee is less than tea tasty. Okay, so I only say this、um, because I want to help you with、um, the understanding of the Chinese sentence structure. Okay, you know how to translate it to English properly, so I won't say more about it. Coffee. 没有茶好喝。Sentence six, 第六句。他没有我这么高。He is not so tall as me, or he is less taller than me. 他 he 没有 is less than, or is not as, ah,、uh, adjective as. 我 means I or me. 这么 means so, 高 means tall, so tall. He is not um so tall as me. 他没有我这么高 Sentence number seven, 第七句，这个电影没有那个电影那么有意思 This movie. Is less interesting than that movie. So first of all, I want to say it's a little.、Uh, it could be confusing because you see, 这个那个那么 they sounds really similar, right?、Um, so to make it simple, like I said,、um, there is one phrase you don't necessarily need to say in a sentence, which is 那么 Okay, so 那么 is、um, after 电影 Movie, this word. So let's try to omit "na me" and read the sentence again. Probably it's simpler, you know, for your understanding. This film is not interesting. Okay, to be honest with you, my personal opinion is that I will definitely omit "na me" in the sentence here because it just sounds a little wordy to me. Like it sounds like a tongue twister, even for a Chinese native speaker like me, so feel free to omit "nam." Okay, I just think it's so extra here. All right, 这个电影 means this movie. 没有 is less than. 那个电影 that movie, and 有意思 these three words together means interesting. 有意思 All right, 有意思 You can also、uh, replace it with 有趣 Ah,、uh, if you have enough vocab, I'm gonna say 有趣 also means interesting. 有意思 equals 有趣这个电影没有那个电影有意思 This movie is less less interesting than that movie. 第八句 sentence number eight. 学校里边的房子没有学校外边的那么安静。学校里边的房子没有学校外边的那么安静。The houses in the school is not as quiet as the ones outside of school. 学校 means school， 里边 means inside。学校里边。
的房子 all together means house houses which are inside school 学校里边的房子没有 is less than or is not as what as 学校外边的 means outside of the school 那么安静那么 means so 安静 is quiet, so quiet, and then you can think it as、um, is not so quiet as, right? So to help your understanding, let's take a look at sentence number eight again. What are they exact?、Uh, what what is the sentence exact exactly comparing with? It's comparing houses inside the school and outside of the school. Okay. Actually, the full length, the whole sentence should be: 学校里边的房子没有学校外边的房子那么安静 Do you notice what I do? I insert 房子 after 学校外边的 because they're comparing houses inside the school and outside of the school. 学校外边的房子 The sentence omit the second 房子 All right. Now let's move on to the practice. Ah,、uh, we have three unfinished sentences, and it's your work to finish them. I'm gonna offer my version. Sentence one, 第一句今天的天气比昨天的好 Or I can say, 今天的天气比昨天好 I omit the word 的 It's not necessary, but if you say it, it's also correct. And it means today's weather is better than yesterday's. Sentence two, 第二句我做的饭没有我妈妈好吃我做的饭没有我妈妈好吃 The food made by me is less better than my mother's. 我做的饭没有我妈妈的好吃 Sentence three. 骑自行车比走路快骑自行车比走路快 Riding a bike is faster than walking. Okay. And if you wanna emphasize the degree, because I believe that、uh, we also mentioned the degree, whether it is、um, a lot more or just a little more than something, right? And we can make a little adjustment for the three sentences.、Uh, sentence number one: 今天的天气比昨天好得多 or 比昨天好多了 means today's weather is a lot. More, a lot better than yesterday's. Sentence two: 我做的饭没有我妈妈好吃 Um. So for the negative comparative sentence, we can't use the degree. So I'm afraid that's the only way you express it. So no degree word. Number three: 骑自行车比走路快多了 or 比走路快得多 That means a lot faster than walking. All right, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it.、Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like my video, and please don't forget to leave a comment or like my video. I really appreciate. 好了，我们下次节目见，拜拜。